Hello everybody, this is Tekka and in this video I'm going to be going over a bucket plugin called Entity Suppressor and what it does is it allows you to limit the monsters and animals that spawn in your server and obviously that will result in a reduce of lag. Now this plugin is very simple to set up, all you have to do is as I did put the Entity Suppressor jar after you've downloaded it into your plugins folder and then run your server and then it will create a folder called entity suppressor and in there will be a config which we will go over right now in here you will have multiple options you'll have the limit monsters limit squid and limit amnals those are self-explanatory they just allow you to limit the following things at the listed so here's a good example if you have monster maximums you can set the max amount of monsters per world so let's say in the world world I wanted only a hundred monsters at max to spawn it'd be as simple as changing this to a hundred but let's say you have a world that's called earth as an example you would just add it like this earth and then you would put the number of monsters you want it to be maxed out as very simple we also have chunk calculated monster maximums for the following groups which is squid and animals and we also have the monst the maximum options for things like squids and animals as well we also have the scan interval which is what scans to see if the monsters will scans to see how much monsters are in the current world and kill off any extras then we have the use um, use monster distance removal so this removes monsters if you are a certain distance away from them and that is de by default set to 128 you can change that if you want to and you can cancel spawn at distance of whatever you set that to and all these features are obviously um, optional so that is actually the plugin we're going to go over one more thing which is the commands. The first command is ES count, which returns a count of all living entities in the world that requires the e suppressor dot count permission. Then we have the ES remove and you have all monsters or animals, which will remove all of the all monsters or animals. And that is the suppressor dot remove permission. Then we have ES reload, which reloads the config. We have the oppressor dot reload for the permission and that is about it actually that's the plugin I hope this video helped you in some sort of way I'm actually considering using this plugin for my server so that's about it have a good day and goodbye